really was the accidental book. I was at a big mass signing and uh, it was, everybody was organised in alphabetical order. So Andrew Hartley, who's a professor of Shakespeare at the University of North Carolina, was sitting to my right because it's Hartley and Houston. And we got into a conversation about the idea of thinking of, of Macbeth specifically as a novel. We got excited about the project. We, we met uh, in New York a few times, talked about it, and we live on different continents, so we decided to write it effectively by email. Andrew is very, very good on the Shakespearean theory, which he knows inside out, and he loves battle scenes. I mean, he's, he's amazing at wielding swords, which, which I'm not terribly good at. Um, so he kind of focused a lot on that side of things, whereas I would deal with some of the, um, the closer focus stuff. And the other key thing that I was able to do because I was in the UK was to go to Scotland and drive round the locations that are key to both Shakespeare's Macbeth and the real Macbeth. So I went to the Great Glen, and I went to Dunsinane and to Burnham Wood and all these fabulous places and that was vital because I was able to take photographs which I then showed to Andrew in North Carolina and we discussed uh, what that would mean to Macbeth. And I think we realised then that actually one of the things that was driving Macbeth was this savage landscape that he was so in love with and felt was being despoiled and mistreated by this corrupt king that he wanted to get rid of. A few low cottages and a ragtag line of shacks and taverns and brothels for sailors apart, the castle was all there was to Inverness. It stood on a low, rocky bluff overlooking the winding dark line of the River Ness, now full with the floodwaters of the recent tempests, banks bursting to bring the water's chill presence into the pauper's hovels built by the shore. Skeena Macbeth was a lowlander, born far away in Glams in the southern valley of Strathmore, a warm and fertile sweep of land caught between the Sidlaw Hills and the Grampians, half a day's ride from the coast at Dundee. Because Macbeth is so underpainted, in Shakespeare, you have to bring a lot of your own character and your own imagination to put flesh on those, those very, very faint bones. The play is, has obviously been a, a, a huge inspiration and a kind of a, a jumping off point for the novel to begin, but in a funny sort of way, it's as though, you know, this was written first and then the play was kind of strained from it. This is kind of a much uh, richer kind of exploration of all the themes. I, I think it's great. I think people will be fascinated by it.